OK, let's start our international news segment with Brexit, where we have been uh, starting for many days now and probably will do for quite a while. The British government has confirmed that the House of Commons will vote on British Prime Minister Theresa May's deal for uh, a third time on Friday local time, so Saturday here in Korea. For more on this and other stories from around the world, let's turn to our Hong Yu. Uh, uh, Hong Yu, uh, fill us in on what's uh, happening, what's the latest in the Brexit situation. Well, Mark, March 29th was the original day set as the day the UK would leave the EU. But for now, it will be the day that UK lawmakers put Theresa May's Brexit deal with the European Union to a vote for the third time. If May's deal is approved, the UK will exit the bloc on May 22nd, but the Parliament will have to work on the domestic ratification requirements. If the withdrawal agreement does not pass this week, the UK will have to participate in European Parliament elections as a condition of an extension beyond April 12th. On Wednesday, May told MPs she would step down as Prime Minister if they backed her deal. May's announcement came after her advisers urged her resignation as the only way to get enough votes to pass the deal, as many Conservatives have been frustrated with her leadership and say a new leader is needed to lead the next phase of talks with Brussels. But the third vote on the divorce deal has a low possibility from being approved, as May will have to change the minds of 75 MPs. The debate at the House of Commons will begin on Friday, 9.20 a.m. local time, and the voting will proceed at 2.30 p.m. local time.